I'm Mike Sullivan, how to get more speed and power in your golf swing. This morning we're at Deer Run Golf Club in Victoria, Minnesota, right next to Hazeltine National for the Ryder Cup. And we're working with International Sports Management, working with a bunch of golfers, a bunch of amateur players, and they're all trying to get more distance. They, they say they want more power in their golf swing. Well, power is something that's really hard to quantify, so I like to talk about speed. And in golf, I think we all know that our driver, which is a long club, is going to generate more club head speed than a shorter club like an iron. So leverage is really, really important. And the place where most people get in trouble is they use their, their hands and they pick up the golf club with their hands in most of their golf swing and they're missing out on the opportunity for leverage. So we're gonna work with this whippy club. This is the Skills Gold Flex. There's other clubs in the market to help us get a feel for swinging the club with our arms around our body to help our leverage, which is gonna give us more speed and thus more distance. Okay, so we've got our whippy trainer and what we want to get a feel for is turning our shoulders and turning our hips to get this club swinging as opposed to using our hands a lot. And a lot of times when we use this device with someone who's never swung one before, especially somebody who wants more distance, what we see is we see them swing this, this device and we see the hands working in their swing. And hopefully they can get a feel that they are improperly using their hands. What we really would rather do is we would much rather utilize the ability to rotate by turning our shoulders and our hips and unwinding our shoulders and our hips. And you'll see my hands have not done a thing. Now, when we're swinging the club, gravity is gonna help us release our wrists and then have a really nice lever here for extension to help us get a lot of club head speed and a lot of distance. So we wanna focus on quiet hands as we turn and turn. So over this past week, we visited one of those big wind farms with these giant propellers, uh, the giant windmills. And the actual hub of those windmills is turning very, very slowly. There's not a lot of speed. But the end of that giant propeller on that windmill is going 100 miles an hour. So I don't have to turn this part all that fast to get the end to have a lot of speed. However, if I get active with my hands, I'm gonna miss out on that, all right? So again, what I love to see people do is get some sort of a device, and with a heavy head is nice, a whippy shaft is nice, you can get some rhythm, and we're gonna turn, turn. And I can hear the speed of that club head through that whooshing noise. Work on that a little bit, and then when you hit your driver, Again, most people when they hit this club, they want to hit it with their hands, they want to chop at it. No, we're going to turn back and turn through with quiet hands and let our shoulders and our hips do the work. So work with that whippy club with a weighted head to really help you get the feel for swinging the club rather than hitting with your hands. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up for a like. And if you subscribe to our channel, you'll be notified by email each time that we produce a new instructional video. Golf specific muscles as well, really a great thing to use before you go play uh, to, to help you get loosened up 